Man. Hi, it's Jen. Today I am going to be talking to you all about pain management and how I personally deal with it. Ironically, when I planned to film this video, um, I yeah started to get really bad sciatica. Um, I couldn't really be bothered to do the whole setup thing, um, which is why I'm sat here. <laughs> And yeah, but I really wanted to film this week because I'm really bored. Really bored. Really bored. I haven't been out for quite a few days. It's <laughs> starting to make me go crazy. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I thought what I would do is share with you a few tips on how I deal with pain management. Um, hopefully these things will help. Maybe they won't come as a huge shock to you, but I think it's always nice to, you know, sharing, caring and all that, and maybe there's one thing that you thought, oh, I might give that a go. Obviously, I'm not responsible for any of the actions that you do after this video, and if you do want to do anything that's different from the norm, always consult a medical professional. That's my disclaimer. <laughs> the first thing that I don't think I would be able to cope without when I'm in pain um, is my hot water bottles and I have one here very old school like yeah I really like it to be super duper hot so I don't have a cover on it um, I do have quite good feeling um, in my back so I know if it's too hot um, but yeah I like to put that on the site of the pain and what doctors have found is that when you put heat on the site of the pain the heat turns off the pain signals ever so slightly, slightly dumbs, dumbs, dulls them down um, and really really helps. Also helps to the blood flow as well in that area, sending all the oxygen and more nutrients as well to the site of the pain and it's natural. So yeah, I love my hot water bottle, I couldn't live without that one. I've also got this one which looks kind of weird and yeah he has a little cover on him and how cool is this a little pouch for your remote control glasses or phone because yeah when you can't move around a lot it's nice to have everything nearby but yeah this is like a really long hot wash bottle thing so you can my sister bought me this bless her to find out where it's from um but yeah you can put it around your neck you can put it around your shoulders or I put it around my lower back um, where I get all of my back pain and yeah you can tie it as well so I really really love this one I think it was like something like Amazon another thing that I'm a really big fan of when I have got aches and pains or um, like a, a specific area like I've pulled a muscle or I've got sciatica um, is tiger balm I'm not sure if you can buy this in this country but yeah, this is Tiger Balm. This was actually sent to me from my relatives in Australia. Um, you can get, over here you can get like deep heat and things like that, which is a pretty similar thing. Um, and what it does is it sort of um, warms up the skin. Depending, some people say you feel warm or some people say it feels cold. But what it will do is help um, circulate the blood flow again in the same way that the heat does. It helps relax and soften the muscles, helping you to move better as well. Not really entirely sure if this does work for my sciatica, but I like to feel like I'm doing something and even if it's like a placebo effect, I just like to feel a little bit more in control of the pain really, I guess. But yeah, and also it smells so nice. <laughs> I love it. menthol -y. pain. Oh, this hoodie is kind of strangling me. It's like, like this, there's a massive hood and like it pulls back. Anyway, yeah, another thing that I couldn't actually cope without when I'm in pain is a bath. The magical wonders of water really, really help. Like, no wonder people give birth to babies in pools because it really helps with the pain and sort of being immersed in all that warm water is just so comforting as well. I find it helps relax and soothe my achy muscles. Um, if I'm just having just a regular day and I've got the regular aches and pains of the day, I can go in a bath and come out a new woman 
honestly, it's absolutely amazing. Um, what I like to do is I like to add aromatherapy oils that can help with muscle tension. And I also like to put in Epsom salt as well. The magnesium sulfate in the salt dissolves and it's absorbed into the skin and it can help with all sorts of ailments such as insomnia. It can help with diarrhea from chemotherapy um, and it helps with muscle pains and all sorts of wonderful things. So yeah, I would highly recommend you look up the Epsom salt and see how it might benefit you as well. I know that I'm a big, big fan of that. Another thing I like to do is, um, if I'm feeling up to it, is maybe a little bit of exercise. Swimming, although sometimes I can feel more achy after a swim than before the swim. Uh, my muscles and bones and stuff are really, really over flexible, so sometimes they can over flex and make them more painful. But swimming or hydrotherapy can be really beneficial. Some physiotherapy, um, and also if you're able to manage a bit of Pilates or sitting yoga or anything that you think that you can do to your ability that helps, then yeah, that can be really, really great. Um, another thing that I have done is acupuncture. I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of how acupuncture works, but yeah, I have found it to be very beneficial. I suffer with headaches and migraines. And I also suffer, again, yes, with the sciatica, and I have found it to be really, really beneficial. So, yeah, if you are thinking about it, then, yeah, definitely look into it, because I would highly recommend the acupuncture. Oh, um, and another thing that I do when I'm in pain is have a massage. Um, the lady that I see who does massage knows a lot about backs. She's studied physiotherapy. She's into all that Reiki healing and stuff like that. And she's, she's amazing. I've had massages all over the world and I honestly don't think I have had a better massage than this lady. She is insane. Her name is Angel and I'm sure it's because she is a gift from the gods because she is just so, so good. Um, so yeah, I have found that to help obviously make sure that massage is the right thing for you and consult a doctor or a medical professional before you do it. And the last thing is, as I said earlier, I haven't been out for a long... Where's the dog? Where's the dog? I haven't actually been out for a good few days and I'm starting to get a bit, a bit better today, which is why I'm able to film. Um, but I think the main thing is to try and stay positive. It's really, really hard when one day rolls into another day into another day and there's no improvement or a slight amount of improvement. But if there is a slight amount of improvement, tell yourself, actually, yes, I am slightly better today. I'm not as bad as I was yesterday. We're going in the right direction. That's really important. Staying positive. And also try and use your time productively. So I looked at switching my energy supplier. I looked at reducing my bills. I looked at what else did I do? Oh yeah, my phone contract's near to end. So I tried to look for a better phone contract. All those really boring life admin things. Use that time if you can to your advantage. Another thing that I'm doing, which is a great thing to do while you've got time on your hands, is <clears throat> I'm tidying up my external hard drive. There are so many videos on there and pictures <clears throat> and they all need to be organised into albums and I'm organising all of my pictures on my laptop as well. Not to mention doing a little bit of uh, Christmas shopping and uh, a little bit of internet shopping. So. Obviously as well today I'm filming which is great, um, I'm feeling a lot brighter and a lot more positive today because I'm doing this and I'm going to be able to edit it uh, uh, later on as well. Those are a few things. Obviously, when the pain is too bad, I do take painkillers as well, um, but I thought I would share with you um, the natural way of reducing pain, um, but sometimes you, um, you can't help it. But I try, where possible, not to take the painkillers because I always think, you know, once you get to a certain level, there's nowhere to go from that. So I do like to keep it there. As always, I'm going to end with a question. What do you do that helps with your pain? It would be great if you could share it down below so that other people watching can maybe take your advice as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Of course, don't forget to give me the old thumbs up and feel free to subscribe and share the love. Share the little link. There's a little button down below. Press share and it does wonders for the world. <laughs>
I don't know. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and of course I meant to say if you have any videos or topics or discussions you want to discuss or videos you want me to make then feel free to contact me. Anywho, doodles!